Hey y'all, figured it's time to finally do an update video on Bianca, my 2017 Honda Accord Touring V6 Coupe. I officially sold to Wanda yesterday. That was my 2007 EXL V6 Coupe. Sold her to one of my best friends, Carter. I know that she's going to a good home. I'm gonna miss her a lot, but hey, she was a good car. Had her for about six years. Had 108,000 miles on a 10 year old car, that's nothing, especially a Honda. So I thought now that Bianca is finally going to be my daily driver, um, I'd take an update video, show you everything that I've had done. As you all are aware, she was going to get ceramic coated. The entire engine bay has been coated, even down in places like inside the air dam, all in here, ceramic, entire engine, ceramic engine bay so clean it's basically going to stay like that for its entire life oh I forgot to add I also got I paid a little extra and I got him to do up underneath the hood which is not usually part of a typical package for ceramic 9H um, so that's done as well as the trunk lid interior you just see the shine and the gloss she's gonna look like this practically always bugs tar nothing will stick to the ceramic as you all know, I had to install the HFP body kit before I had the ceramic applied. It's so slick and so smooth that nothing really will stick to it. Walking around the car, you could also see that I've now gotten her 30% tinted. In the state of Pennsylvania where I live, any tint is illegal, so I usually stick with 30%. It's dark enough but not so dark that it actually attracts the cops. I have gotten tickets in the past. Walking a little closer, you can see that I am protected by Ceramic Pro 9H. A lot of you, a lot of you have asked how much it costs. It all depends. There are different packages. Um, you have silver, gold. I have the diamond package. It's variable by car. This car had 262 miles on her when I took her to Pavel's Auto Detailing Shop in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania for anyone who is looking into ceramic and you want a certified installer. He is as well a certified Ceramic Pro 9H trainer. Um, he's a perfectionist. Another new addition, I installed the HFP spoiler. That as well is ceramic coated along with the original trunk piece that the car comes with. You can see those beautiful LED tail lights shining. The diamond package that I got done included the entire car inside and out. I'll show you the interior in a little bit. Um, even the chrome exhaust is done. The calibers, the wheels. He went all out and even did the suspension pieces like control arms, springs, the struts. He just went to town um, while he was in there. I did ask him to not ceramic coat the chrome surround around the windows as well as the door handles. I personally hate chrome and I will be vinyl wrapping it gloss black. Vinyl wrap as well as 3M tape. If anyone's wondering, it will not stick to Ceramic Pro. If it does, it's probably temporary. Um, you're not going to get as good of a as a bond as you would without the ceramic being on there. There's the walk around of the car. The wheels, including the faces as well as the inside barrels, are all ceramic coated. I think he also did some on the outside of the tires. There's 
the interior. I've owned the car since May 18th, 2017, and she only has 405 miles, I believe. Um, I've barely driven her because I've actually been driving the 2007, putting all the miles on that. I also paid extra to get the inside of the door frames ceramic coated. So all that water, after you're done washing your car, you know how it all just sits in there. Now it's just going to beat off. Entire dash. All the chrome, the touchscreen, the navigation, it's all ceramic coated. The exterior glass, the leather, everything in this car has ceramic Pro 9H on her. I updated to the OEM all-weather mats, as well as the trunk liner. I forgot to mention while I had the hood open, I've also done the OEM horn upgrade. As you know, these ninth gens come with a little tiny meep meep horn. Mm, not feeling it. So I upgraded. There's two different horn upgrades. One's the normal OEM, and the other one is the Sport Accord upgrade. Uh, the OEM is at 108 decibels and the Sport is at 110. It definitely gives you a more of a honk honk than a meep meep. The leather, fully coated. So you could literally spill a Starbucks latte on my seat not going to stain it's not going to soak in it's going to bead right up and all that i have to do is grab a microfiber towel or a napkin and just soak it up and it'll come right off one thing that a lot of people are griping about is this piano black it gets very dusty as well as shows a bunch of fingerprints they have it down here around the surround or on the gear shifter as well. Um, I did notice that with it being ceramic coated, all that I have to do is really blow on it and the dust sort of just blows right off. And fingerprints, you could just get a microfiber and they wipe right off. The ceramic is just so slick. I love it. I, I don't regret it at all. The car was brand new. I figured, hey, it was the time to do it. Um, upgrades to come. I bought BC Racing DR Series coilovers. They're about brand new, 5,000 miles on them from Mike off the forums. He sold his ninth gen to his brother and took the coils off of his 2016 sedan. Shout out to Mike, I got a huge discount on them. So they will be coming soon, as soon as I uh, find the time to get them installed. You can see how good my tank guy is. He's a perfectionist. He hates the little tiny gap at the top of the window. So if the tint is not perfect, he literally rips the entire sheet off of the window and starts over again. Being a perfectionist myself, I'm not gonna complain because that's exactly the type of workmanship that I look for in somebody who's gonna work on my car. So there she is. I think I covered all the updates that I've done so far. We've got the HFP spoiler, the HFP body kit, the window tint. I did run, which I laid myself, just like I did on the 07, a black vinyl stripe across the top. I absolutely cannot stand when window film bubbles. Because if you remember, this is all over the top of the window so the tint can never settle up in that and it just ends up 
looking like crap. So I ran the, the black strip up the top of the window. I'm really sad to hear that the 2018, the 10th generation Honda Accords, not only Honda are you taking the V6 away from me, you're taking the coupe too? Come on. I can tell you now this will be my last Honda Accord and that breaks my heart to say that. But I'm a coupe driver and I'm a V6 kind of guy. I don't want no freaking turboed four cylinder. So I'll probably be going back to, I don't know, maybe German Luxury or Infinity or something after this car, but I do plan on having this car for probably the next 10 years or so. She's going to look awesome when that wheel gap is eliminated. I'm probably going to run 15 millimeter wheel spacers as well like I did on the other car just to bring those stock wheels, have a positive 55 millimeter offset out a little bit give it a more flush look the OEM trunk liner my OEM mats about to store in the garage for safekeeping but like I said I also got all up in here ceramic coated so water's just gonna repel beat up and fall off one of the best aspects of getting your car ceramic coated car washes are gonna be so simple you don't really even need soap. All that you need is a power washer. Everything just falls right off. All right, y'all. I just wanted to take another video, keep you updated. As always, thank you for watching. I see a lot of you have been subscribing. Don't even ask for it, but I appreciate it. And uh, I'll keep you updated. I'll definitely do another video once I get the coils put on. Thanks for watching.